I've had some good burgers in my time. Uh, I, I love a good Swiss, melted Swiss cheese and mush, roasted mushrooms and caramelized onions on a burger. Uh, that is hot stuff. You can get that at, at a number of different places. So to all the anti-Semites saying, oh, 109 countries can't be a coincidence, you guys do realize that the 109 countries figure uses subdivisions of countries that no longer exist, right? For example, the Holy Roman Empire, which has hundreds and hundreds of member states, and some of them are still counted in the 109 countries figure, even though nowadays the territory has been divided up amongst five or six countries. Y'all understand that in a modern context, 109 countries is over half the countries in the world. There's no way Jews have been expelled from over half the countries in the modern world. Like, if you guys are going to come up with an argument, at least come up with a sound one. This is just ridiculous. And I think it's, a, it's really incredible because the amount of people that have been here tonight that have shown hatred towards Rob, that have been shown hatred towards his ideas, is pretty incredible. And so I really don't know who you are and the fact you're getting as upset as you are. Hey, you guys, who likes Cardi B? Cardi B? You know she has that song. What is the alt-right? Everybody has an opinion about it, but nobody seems to know exactly what it is. So I took it upon myself to find out. I took a deep dive into alt-right culture. I read their books, listened to their podcasts, watched their videos, followed their blogs, and spoke personally to their leaders. Here's what I learned. The alt-right has nothing in common with conservatism and is, in fact, much closer to leftism. Except, of course, that the left is much, much larger. I'm Michael Knowles, host of The Michael Knowles Show, for Prager University. Communists killed far more people than the Nazis, but never matched the Holocaust. I reject this idea of dual loyalty. I have loyalty to ideas. And of course I love the Grand Canyon, I love the Rocky Mountains, and I love Boston, I love Chicago. But if all that disappeared and all I had was ideas, and we were on an island, that's America, that's Israel. And that, that's what people have to realize, that... America's just a placeholder for timeless ideas. And if you fall too in love with, you know, oh, the specific place and all this, that's, you know, that's not what it is. Israel will be the exception. I warn you, somewhere in this audience is the next Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, read up on Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt, the man who said, you know what, when are we ever going to get this? We can't just let people breed with whoever they want. I mean, we don't do that with our horses or our cattle. Why would we let our people do that? Oh, thank you, Teddy. He was the author of the progressive movement. There are progressives on the left and there are progressives on the right in the Republican Party. Be very careful. Learn history or you will fall to the mercy of things like, hey, I don't like it, it's bad, we should ban porn. Bad idea, gang. That's a progressive, that's progressive thinking. You are for freedom, you are for liberty, you are for allowing people to make mistakes and suffer the consequences of those mistakes, but also rise to the greatness that only they can do. Why do we spend so much money on Israel? Over my decades of military service, as the Deputy Commander of the United States European Command, and now as a security advisor, I've often heard people make this complaint. The truth is we don't spend enough. We should spend more, and for purely selfish reasons. Every dollar we spend on Israel is a dollar spent, in effect, in our own defense. As a value proposition, it's all in America's favor. There are many more layers to this discussion about big tech censorship. Conservatives are not being censored online the way big conservative names have claimed. These big conservatives encouraging you to play the victim and blame the fact that you're a conservative for any difficulties are lying to you because they only care about fame and money. I'm against playing the victim, and far too often conservatives are quick to play victim anytime their social media accounts fluctuate. The topic of censorship is a controversial one, and I think there is certainly big tech bias against conservative voices on specific social media platforms. 
But this is a nuanced discussion that can't be summed up as easily as. Sure. Uh, so I have a question. So from America first perspective, why do we give $3.8 billion to Israel, which is more aid than we've given to Africa, more aid than we've given to South America, and more aid than we've given to the Caribbean combined, which is home to a billion poor people, especially when they deliberately attacked the USS Liberty in the 1970s. That is incorrect. Do not peddle conspiracy theories in our event. That is not acceptable. Do not say that. Okay, Dean Rusk disagrees with you, and he was the Secretary of State at the time, but that's fine. And then the second part is also, you have the Apollo incident in which they illegally stole right, weapons-grade uranium. Enough the CIA this, has reports on this. this. anti-Zionist, anti No, I'm not anti-Israel. I'm just asking from America pers perspe perspective because it's not in our interest. They act Remember against the our interest. Remember the short question part? Sure. I mean, wh wh how is it in our interest that Easy. we give this money to Israel? All right, so, so it's required that they have to buy American weaponry. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East, the only place where all three monotheistic religions are allowed to peacefully practice. It's the only country in the Middle East where all three monotheistic religions are represented in their government. It's the only place in the Middle East that has any appreciation for LGBT rights whatsoever. It's the only country in the Middle East that doesn't throw homosexuals off the top of buildings when they find them. It is the only partner that we have in the fight against radical Islamic terrorism. And the, the subtext of your narrative could be extrapolated to say, well, why on earth would we have a partner like Israel? Guess what? The world's a better place because of Israel.